she ain't coming back. As you're about to approach the lizard, Sibyl cups your chin between thumb and index finger, then guides your eyes to hers. Listen, I need to have a chat with this here morsel of flesh. He has wronged me once, but may just do right by me this time. To your surprise, Sibyl proceeds to throttle the unsuspecting lizard with one hand as she drives the tip of her needle into his lower belly with the other. Then the questions commence. You hear him yelp about the master, lone wolves, and a man called Griff. Then, quite suddenly, there's blood everywhere as Stingtail falls to the ground, face first into his own intestine. Sabeel heaves a sigh of satisfaction, and as she wipes her needle clean, shoots you a cursory look. Chat's over. So, that seemed just a tad excessive. Hmm? Something on your mind? It's simple. He scarred me, so I scarred him. Extensively. She defies you with devilishly innocent eyes. Can you blame me? There it is. I was wondering when your spying would make an appearance. Anyway, what's dead is done, so let's move on, shall we? Despite my high hopes, this scar disfigures me still. The search for the Master continues, of course. Hungry work, the hunt. And you know what? I'm feeling a bit peckish. Stingtail mentioned a cook, as it happens. Fellow named Griff. Two birds, one stone. How about it? kicked the book at this and didn't think I'd miss his grumbling and boasting, but spirit like that leaves a big hole when it's... Junk.
A moment's pause? I had thought us too wicked for rest. My, my. I did get you all worked up, didn't I? Afraid you won't be able to sleep tonight. She pulls her hand away, quickly and violently, as if bitten by a snake. No, no, it's fine. I... I don't know why I did that. I suppose I'm a bit skittish from time to time. Skittish like a cat that's seen too much unkindness. You see, there's... Uh, there's triplets in my mind. The woman I am... The woman I must be, the woman I long to be. Like all sisters, they do tend to be at odds with one another, from time to precious time. If the present is all that matters, you must take me as I am, sunshine and shadow, both. You can see what I can do. What comes as easily as a morning's yawn or a rush of blood in the presence of beauty. This, you must accept. Thank you. How romantic a concession to let a woman kill when she so pleases. Escape once I've talked to Griff. She smiles and gives you a long, meaningful look. I couldn't let him kill you. That would be awful. When's it gonna be killing time? You come to fight. You come to prove yourself. You come to be worthy. There can be only one. And you have but one chance. Can we get on with this already? She scoffs. To prove you are the one. <laughs> Never mind. The one does not ask such a question. Warfare is worse. The dwarf cocks his head left, then right. His eyes squint and his brows rise, as if lifted by an unseen fishhook. Marcus? Marcus Miles? Right, right. Sorry. <laughs> Just hard not to see you as that wild-eyed troublemaker you used to be. It's been, what, over a decade, yeah? We will rejoin our comrades. Can we go? Cost? Don't you worry now. You may not remember my name, but you'll remember our capers for sure. <laughs> Picture it, sneaking out of your quarters under the light of the moon to go skinny dipping in Claw Lake. <laughs> You'd bring turkey legs and ale, and we'd drink till the stars swirled. Only 12 years of age we were, but your beard was already as long as your forearm. The court tried to tame you, but you were a beast even then. A shame it had to go the way it did. Justinia, she always seemed to have your back. And then they tossed her the crown. Big 
bigger than what she's already managed. Say a single word against her and a royal copper who's to throw you in a dank cell or carve the royal insignia on your throat. Unless you've got a handful of coin to donate to the kingdom, of course. <laughs> You're going to need to blow this potweed stone if you want to stop her. But maybe this will help. Nab the key off that Krauss fella up above. Not the brightest of magisters. We'll stick his head in a pig's ass and call it a hat. Reckon it unlocks one of the doors to the prison. Now I'm not sure which. I'll tell you to take care crossing the Divine Order, but from what I hear, you can handle yourself just fine against Alexander's flunkies. Just that I trust you out there. The Order's got Justinia's back. Always have. When you win against her, you win against them. You got the guts, is all I'm saying. At least someone does. We will rejoin our comrades. Who will be next to fight? We will rejoin our comrades. She sizes you up as you approach. Her You've yet to experience the joy and pain of true combat, I see. I've waited this long. Is that I so? You droop like a dying willow and simper like a newborn vole. The spirit of the one requires an undaunted host. Yet I see potential in you. You have a reason to fight. You could go far. The spirit of the one is everywhere. It exists beyond us, yet will someday live in one of us. This is how we worship. This is not just an arena, but a temple too. A brutal warrior will ascend. We'll celebrate this hero as the one. I believe you could, but it's not certain. That's a tale only you can tell. Who will be next to fight? I fight not to be named the one, but to reveal the one. It is the wise choice. Now you may enter the arena with the blessings of the one. We seek the one. The old man looks you up and down and smiles. Will you fight? Can we get on with this already? I will watch with great interest. I've waited this long. A deep grumble emerges from him as if... Well, get a load of you. You got swagger, I'll give you that. But I reckon... You think I'm worried about a buzzing net? Ain't looking to pick a fight outside the arena. First time I spoke, Mama and through the streets crying, Demon! Poor thing. Shook her to the core. Sound like a living Elspawn has its advantages, though. Look around, dwarf. What you see is what you get. It's a fighting arena. You step into it when it's your turn and take wax or whatever comes barreling towards you. Glad I found it. Spent half my life with the one is a living god. Might sound crazy to you, but it's just the way of it. You battle in the arenas. You get divine power if you can't. Don't know about it. I didn't either till the one over there got me into it. One thing the old woman took. And let me tell you, run. He grumbles what's. Warfare is worship. <clears throat> you come to fight. You come to prove yourself. We you see. come to fight. Good. Who aids you? Choose wisely. Whether you fail or succeed, you do not fight more.
Prepare yourself. Prepare yourself. Well fought. You don't become the one by winning just the one. Someone who will yet be chosen. You may yet be the one. You prove yourself again, and again, and again. A warrior traveling the path of the one should not be collared like a pet. I suggest you see the tinkerer. You are capable of so much more. Patience does not come easy, however. Each day brings us one step closer. The one will walk among us, though not today, it seems. My fight is strong. No way I'll be bested. You cannot hurry the one. Patience does not come easy, however. Well done. Very well done. Tell me, what is your strategy in battle? You do not fight like others I have seen. The strategist. And yet you are not too circumspect to land the killing blow. A dangerous combination. I will keep my eye on you. The good one. Someone will yet be chosen. Well done. V tell me, what is your strat the strategist? I will keep my My fight is strong. No way I'll be bested. I see your potential has begun to shine through. Each day brings us one step closer. You were decent in the arena, but you'll have to do better than that to be named the one. Expected no less from you, buddy. Every dwarf is a champion in their own right, but you, oh, you're something special. Each day brings us one.
The one will arrive Don't become the one by winning Each day the brings us one step closer. The one. Patience does not come easy, however. She smiles and gives you a long, meaningful... I couldn't let him kill you. That would be awful. Kinda getting too big for your boots, you know? This time. My I've gotta hand it to him. Elves sure smell better than us when they die. Kinda like fall leaves, you know? It's you. It's really you. You gave him hell, did ya? She sits at full attention, utterly wrapped in your retelling. It might just be you. The one. You might be him. She looks around, checking for prying ears, and lowers her voice. It would mean everything. The one will prove himself above all others. The one will become divine. You may be the one to save us all. The one would be humble, just like you. There's only one thing to do. I've got to set you free. Your collar. Let me take it off. What a privilege on me! She manipulates the ring around your neck in several quick yet intricate motions. Off pops your collar, and a sense of relief swirls from deep within you. You hear me now. You get out of this place. You keep fighting. You become the one. And you think of old Nibora when it's all over. doing without your collar? Do I look like an idiot to you? Come on, you just earned yourself a quick ticket to the dungeons. We'll get a new collar on you soon enough. I should find a way out of this mess before somebody comes to replace my collar. Oh, 
Oh, you! Oh, hi! Are you here for the pointy look undoer? This place? Well, hum. The fleas seem very happy, at the very least. Should be careful. Last thing I need is unwanted attention. You got a good reason for barging into a private room, buddy. Ow! You must be mad. At out one way, you're back in the joy among the rabble. At out another, you're knee deep in the hollow marshes. I'll take a nice quiet cell any day of the week, and twice on Lucian's day. And? Got no reason to scramble out, me. It's hot and busy out there. School and qu- Before you go, you haven't met a particular fa- Good. Go oh, z hey. Lucky find. Nice. Lucky find. Lucky find. Good find.
can't silence me. Guards! Guards! You'll see. They'll get their hands on you and then... Uh, who are you? Who are... All right. I... I just... They do terrible things here. If they think for a second I'm trying to escape again, they'll do to me what they did to him. Not seen. Heard. There's a man over there. They tortured him, questioned him. Seekers. Something about God woken. He didn't know anything, but they didn't care. I heard his screams. I heard something. Eating him from the inside. No, it can't happen to me. It can't. It can't. It can't. It can't. Can't escape. Don't you know what's outside the fort? I tried to leave. I heard of a shelter in the hollow marshes, a place where sorcerers could go. The undead had their hands on me in five minutes, shredding, tearing. I came limping back and now, now, now. Outside the bones are gnashing. In here the magisters are, are cutting, slicing, grinding, smashing. What to do? Uh, what to do? Poor thing. Poor fool. I hope it's an easy death then. Decapitation. Yes, I do wish that for you. No, take care. Take care. Do you hear that? Something's up ahead. You there. Whatever you are. Did Brackus send you? Is he ready to apologize? Brackus is gone. You're telling me that my Brackus, my betrothed, is no more. He's gone. You're absolutely, positively sure. That means, that means I'm free. I can take suitors, find myself a real prince. Not like that scoundrel Brackus. I've lost too much time on that waste of Brackus as it is. Take this proclamation and see that all hear of it. Princess Xenthia of the Firelands is free once more. Go now. I expect the most eligible kings and suitors to be petitioning for my hand in marriage as soon as possible. Hmm, I suppose the small folk of Rivalon ought to know my tale. All was well after my engagement to Brackus for a time, but then, then he started to pay less attention to me. He had mind only to play around with his blasted sauce follies. I gave him a good tongue lashing about it in front of the whole court. But, well, it didn't have the desired result. He transmogrified me and all my servants into the beasts you see before you. I will not yield, though. I remain royalty right to my very core.
doesn't it?
slimes were disgusting. The princess would have your head for that language. Princess Xenthia of the Firelands. Heed her laws or feel her wrath. What? No. Murder! Reach it! this? I found something.
You there. What the devil are you doing without your collar? Prefer a cage, do you? No, so you'd rather die here and... about it logically, she's much better off.
doing with that? Prefer a cage, do you? So, you'd rather... to accept reality. Glory is mine. to none. Yield to none. Vara, she ain't coming back. She's gone, Vara. to accept reality. Coming back. Glory is mine. Vara, prepare yourself. Coming back.
She's gone, fuck. Gone! to the dark with you. You're kind of getting too big for your boots, you know? Bloody your kind. She looks at you with wet eyes. Good to see you. You take care now. And don't you let me down. Their right mind would think of a thing like this. There, Lucy. The shrine depicts Lucy and the Divine, avatar of the seven gods. You hear a strange sound, like rusted hint. Under lock and key. Oh, 
speak? Sorcerer! What do you think you're doing, prowling around inside the fort? Don't think so. You broke the rules by coming down here, Buck. Divine's rules. Sure you would, Buck. He looks you up and... My hands will love you.
Please, healing. I need healing. A shepherd in wolf's clothing. They beat me for helping sorcerers. Children. We were trying to, to help them escape. I joined this order to serve the divine. He would not would never accept this torture. It is slavery. I serve the Divine, not his son. I'm no fool, but his legacy is alive in all of us who, who long for justice. We can't can't have that while his relics are being used against civilians. They remove all the source from within. The husk that remains is left empty, soulless, easily controlled. There's a boat that can take you into the dunes beyond. Two associates of mine run it. I can show you where. But they'll kill you on sight if you don't know the proper password. Heal me, and I'll gladly tell you. <coughs> I... I feel it at work upon me already. Thank you, my friend. That is what separates you from the Divine Order. There is... a waterway. A boat. Hand me a map. It isn't far. You'll meet some associates of mine. Tell them Madame Zur sent you, and they'll let you pass. Enough to matter, not enough to stage a coup. 
The Void Woken have people terrified, not only for their lives, but for the very air they breathe, the sun that shines upon them. Dallas and Alexander offer a solution. People need solutions at a time like this, no matter the consequences. Some people, anyway. No, I imagine not. She's the headmistress of an orphanage in the far north. She keeps sorcerer children safe from the Divine Order. I can think of no nobler soul in all the realm. With her help, we've saved countless children from Dallas and Alexander. And we aim to save many more. You've given me a second life. I won't soon squander it. Or forget what you've done. Thank you. I'm healed. Thank you, my friend. I will settle this debt. Lucky find. This again? much back. Oh, good. That's for you, then. Bye-bye, flea scratch -a bob The 
get that girl and her head sucker out of here. I, uh, guess he's talking about you. Let's just see about that. Hey, loudmouth, what gives? I'm trying to relax here, aren't I? Whatever's going on with you and your passenger, I don't really need it in my vicinity. You can... you can see it. S see? Nay. Sense? Good gods, yes. You're a mystic too. Mystic? Ha! Used to be a sort of demonologist, though. Was learning the arts, at least. Never did have much of a knack for it, to be honest. Studied under a real maestro, though. Learned this and that, too. Doubt it. Exorcism's a tier three skill. I was only halfway through tier one when I got thrown in here. Come on, make yourself useful. There's got to be something you can do. Well, I might be able to tell you exactly what's inside you. Might be any number of things. A ghost, a floater, a lucid dreamer who took a wrong turn somewhere. Let me try something. He places a thumb on each of Losa's temples and one foot gently on hers. Now, let's see. <laughs> holy, holy, holy. You ought to thank your lucky stars. That thing hasn't turned you into a meat puppet by now. Crick on a cracker. You need help. Serious help. Oh, don't I know it. Do me a favour. Get out of here and hie you to the north of Driftwood. My old master was hot on the heels of something there, and if anyone can help you, he can. Driftwood, old master, hot hills. Got it. I don't dare say it now. Not while her guest is listening. Don't you worry. With something like that inside you, Loser, he'll either come to you, or you'll be drawn to him soon enough. Hi. Easy. I'd say we get out of this place. Don't know how long they plan to keep us here, but I Tired of the view in here yet? He freezes and shoots you a wary glance, looking for all the world like a wild animal caught in the lantern light of a racing carriage. Well, why not? Go ahead. Ifan begins counting on his fingers and muttering to himself. This goes on for quite some time. Forty-three, give or take. Ifan nods ruefully and barks a laugh. It's not a competition. It's my job. What else do you want to know? That I did. In Lucian's own army. Yeah. Stay out of their way. From the rank and file to the top brass, they're as ruthless as the wildest lone wolf. But the difference? A wolf never tries to hide what he truly is. There's a reason I don't wear order garb anymore. But I... I don't like to talk about those days. Drop it. <laughs> 